Hi everyone, so this is a, the first bid for the second lesson of the third pack. <laughs> and it's talking about max and min points now. So we can find max and min, it, it talks about here, like, say like the maximum velocity. It's when you're speeding up as much as you can do and your acceleration is zero. So my maximum velocity will be when dv dt is zero. So we're going to use things like that to help us. Uh, things like the maximum displacement will be when the velocity is zero. So things like we're going to use those ideas to help us. So it says here, example one, a car starts to accelerate as soon as it moves down. After t seconds, its velocity is that. There. Until it reaches a maximum velocity. So when does the maximum velocity occur? So the max velocity is when a equals zero. So the first thing I want to do, I want to find a. So that's dv by dt. So a is, so the 14 goes, 0.45 times t, so 0.9t, minus 0.09t squared. So my acceleration is equal to zero. I can take out a t, so 0 0.9 minus 0 0.09t is zero. I need to move this board out, but I'm not quite sure how it's going to do it. There we go. So I get t is zero, or 0 0.9 minus 0 0.09t is zero. So I can rearrange that in the GCSE algebra on the go here. Gives me, have I added an extra zero in somewhere along the way? That looks like. Yeah. So it gives me 10 seconds for t. So I get t is not, or t is 10 seconds. Um, now, really, I should check the other one. So if t is zero, so I check what the velocity is there. So I've got that equation. So when t is zero, if I use that equation, so when t is zero, my velocity is 14 meters per second. If I sub it into the equation, so I'll sub it into the equation. And when t is 10, it gives me a velocity of 29 meters per second. So that there was my minimum velocity. That's my maximum velocity. Okay. Go back up to the question. Oh, it's not working. Hang on, wandering off. So the computer. Right. Oh, so I've done that, haven't I? So part one was to find what it was. That was a t value, t is 10. And then that maximum velocity was my mu is 29. That's okay. Right. So the distance travelled while it accelerates to its maximum velocity. Right. So let's have a think about this then. So I know. Uh, that my distance is my velocity integrated. Now it starts off at time zero, and I'm going up to time 10. So I'm actually using limits now. So I'm integrating my 14 plus 0.45 t squared minus 0.03 t cubed from 0 to 10 dt. I'm going to cheat a little bit on my calculator. I'm going to sneeze as well. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, I might sneeze again here. <clears throat> oh, the pause button didn't work then. I was supposed to be doing a loud sneeze without with the pause button. But it didn't work. I hope. No, mind. Right, so I'm going to cheat and put it on my calculator, and it gives me a value of 215 meters. So that's the first one done. So, move on to the next one. So there's one for you, same idea, so you have a go at that one. Okay. There we go. Um, so 
Oh, it's already got the S on it, hasn't it? That's going to be easy. All right, what are we on? Five minutes. Um, how long's this one then? I might stop it and do each one as a shot. 